Do not despair, sir. All my talk of food was just a dead herring. In fact, I have a cunning plan. This is not food, but an escape kit. Good Lord. With a saw, a hammer, a chisel, a gun, a change of clothes, a Swiss passport and a huge false moustache, I may just stand a chance. Ah. Oh. Let's see, what have we here? A small painted wooden duck. I thought if you get caught near water, you can balance it on the top of your head as a brilliant disguise. Yes. I would, of course, have to escape first. Ah, but what's this? Unless I'm much mistaken, a hammer and a chisel. You are much mistaken. A pencil and a miniature trumpet. Yeah, a pencil so you can drop me a postcard to tell me how the breakout went. And a small little tiny miniature trumpet in case during your escape you have to win favour with a difficult child. Well, I don't want to spend my last precious hours rummaging through this feeble collection of stocking fillers. <laughs> Let me just ask you some simple questions. Is there a saw in this bag? No. A hammer? No. A chisel? No. A gun? No. A false passport? No. <laughs> A change of clothes? Yes, sir, of course. I wouldn't forget a change of clothes. Ah, well, that's something. Let's see. A Robin Hood costume. <laughs> yeah, I put in a French peasant's outfit first, but then I thought, what if you arrive in a French peasant's village and they're in the middle of a fancy dress party? <laughs> and what if I arrive in a French peasant village dressed in a Robin Hood costume and there isn't a fancy dress party? <laughs> Well, to be quite frank, so I didn't consider that eventuality. <laughs> because if you did, you'd stick out like a... Like a man standing in a lake with a small painted wooden duck on his head? <laughs> exactly. 